seen it. We are at Lux Lounge. The professional confessional is here. I'm here with uh, Miss Sarah. Hi, how are you? Okay, um, I'm gonna ask her a couple of questions. Yes. You mind? As a female hip hop artist from the DMV area, mm -hmm. you mind letting the people know what you bring into the rap game? Let's see. First of all, I'm keeping it official. I'm bringing the hood back to the rap game. We keeping it 100%. No, you know what I'm saying? Faking uh, street official. No authentications over here. Another thing I'm bringing is fun. You know what I'm saying? We be partying. We be having fun. It's not all about, you know, the negativity and stuff like that. That's so, what do you think that makes you unique and your music unique from other female rap artists? My style is unique. I don't think I look like anybody. My style, like, you know what I'm saying? I just took it up differently. I'm not like anybody else. Secondly, I think my lyrical game is on one trillion. So if you actually listen to what I have to say, I'm actually talking about something. My flow game is stupid. You know what I mean? It's like running water, fountains, rivers. You know, Niagara Falls type shit. And then, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to get money like the next man, and I ain't hating on the next one. So, I think people gonna respect the grind at the end of the day and appreciate good music. You write, you write your own shit? Write my own shit. That's what's up. That's she what's write up. her own shit. Okay. What are your up and coming projects? Um, a two fly record label. We're working on our compilation right now. So, that's the up and coming project. Right now, Ben Ready, my mixtape is out. So, we're pushing that while we're in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Grinding it out for the compilation. Okay. Um, so, this is the professional confession. And it's my favorite part. You have to tell people, your fans, something that they don't know about you. It could be anything. It could be, you know, anything. There's something that we don't know about you that you would like to share with us. Damn. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You got me. I don't know. Y'all yeah, know I'm getting money. I'm about getting money. Let me see. What, what I don't put out there in my music? It's gonna be something silly, something stupid. Cause I'm real it doesn't open. matter. Like one of my artists that I did was Chalon. He shared with us that he was like a huge sports fan. Like he, it, you know, it could be anything. anything. I ran track in high school. Hey, there you go. Hey, you got something. I'm keeping my body in shape on purpose, baby. Hey, yeah, there you go. You might didn't know that. There you go. You got it. So where can we find you? Um, you can find me. We got the uh, website coming real soon, twoflyrecords.com. Uh, we're going to have a link on there for sarahclock.com. Other than that, you're trying to listen to some music, YouTube, Reverb, Sarah Clock, Two Fly Records. You know what I'm saying? You can just check me out there. All right, guys. That's the end of it. We out. Two Fly, baby. And we out. What's up guys, I'm Miss Martina. We are at the Lux. I am here with Jay Hayden. Say what's up. What's going on? How y'all doing out there? It's Jay Hayden at Lux Lounge. Just got off stage, you know what I'm saying? Don't even know if I'm about to go back on yet because we going back and forth, you know, but it's all good. Okay, you are a very talented recording artist. Thank you. And also a novelist. Um, Love Counseling, the novel, did it inspire your music? Because I read the synopsis and I heard, I listened to your album and, you know, it just sounds like the album has a story behind it. Okay. So, what I want to know. Well, basically, you know, uh, Love Counseling, uh, the album, you know, was inspired by uh, a, a course of true events that happened with those, you know, people that I know. Um, yeah, how are you? And people that, you know, basically inspired me or I heard stories from this person and that person. I got a lot of friends, you know. So, you know, I put something together and basically what I did was the songs on the album, I actually narrated, uh, well, basically wrote a novel behind that, you know what I mean? So that people can actually play the, actual play the CD, right? And read the novel and get a feel for what's in the novel, you know what I mean? Because actually it, it, it's kind of... If you if you listen to the words and the lyrics in the in the songs, it kind of drives the whole novel. You know what I mean? So it's like some good stuff. You need you need to go ahead and check. It's coming out soon, real soon. So be on the lookout for that. JWorldRecords.com is the website. So which project did you take on first? Like, did you write the novel first, or did you start writing the music first? Well, I I, I wrote the it was a it's a well I wrote the um, album first. You know, the album was completed and done. 
Uh, the idea hit me based off of, you know, when I was basically thinking about the stories behind the songs. I said, I can compile this all into one idea, you know, so basically that's what I did. And it's, an, it's a romantic, erotic thrill. You know, you get a little bit of everything in there, you know what I mean? So make sure you do check that out. I also got a video coming out that people don't know about. It's called Believer, okay? Believer, that's some exclusive information right there. Believer, okay? It's coming out. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be crazy, you know what I mean? So, uh, for those individuals who want to know more information on that, man, text real music to five five four six nine. Text real music to five five four six nine. Real music, one word. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a professional confessional, as you know. You have to tell us something that most people don't know about you. I mean, it could be anything. Sarah Clark just told us that she ran track in high school. So my man was in jazz man for four years in high school. No more money to take. My bad, I'm made it. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm coasting. You know what it is. All right, let us know. We will, you know, what I can say, you know, number one in jazz band. You know what I mean. Four years state, you know what I mean, when I was in high school, whatever. But you know, uh, let me think. Something that nobody would know. Yeah. Oh, man. Somebody, nobody, or something nobody would know. Let's think. It's all great, it's all great. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a serious, that's serious right there. Uh, all right, people, people don't know this. Um, EEO law is my background. Title seven. Okay. Um, you know, when I was in the federal sector and, if, and when I was employed by the federal government, you know, making, you know, good money or whatever, I protected minorities' rights from discrimination, sexual harassment based off of race, you know, I mean, everything based off of race, national order, gender, the, uh, reprisal, disabilities, you know, the whole nine. That's what I used to do. I used to help individuals, and that's all, you know, I'm about. But, you know, my music and other entrepreneurial ventures, you know what I mean, allow me to just walk away from all that and do this full time. And uh, I'm loving every bit of it, you know. I got my own business and now I just provide services to people, you know what I mean? Making it happen. Yeah, so that's something nobody don't know about me, you know. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, where can we find you? Again, you can find me at jworldrecords.com. That's the letter J, world like we live in, records with the S at the end, dot com. All right, and uh, you know, again, like I said, text real music to five five four six nine. That's five five four six nine. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Five five four six nine. All right, real music. All right, y'all. That was Jay Hayden. I'm Miss Martina. We're done. On to the next one.